Hello, and welcome to Sue Rogers Unedited. I am Sue Rogers. Everyone's family is fucked up. Yeah, you heard it. Heard it, heard it here first. You did not hear that here first. If you heard that here first, I don't know what rock you've been living under. Everyone's family is fucked up. Everyone's family. And if you think they're not, they're just really, really good at hiding it. Really good at hiding it. And you guys, there should be no shame in knowing that people fuck up. There's like, if there should be no shame if people, knowing people will screw up, if they learn from those screw ups and grow. That's what I mean. Like if they're continuously just like, screw up after screw up after screw up there should be some shame in that and i am all for some shaming when done appropriately people are like oh you can't shame you can't this shame or that shame or whatever like you guys we should have a little bit of shame going on like if you're not ashamed of anything um it might be time for some self reflection Okay, there have been things that I have been ashamed of. Like we're not perfect. We are not perfect people. No one is perfect. And there are going to be things that we do that are wrong and are royal fuck ups, 100%. And if anyone tries to tell you otherwise, they are lying or so delusional that they have no idea what their fuck ups are too. Like we all do them. And so that's my point here too. Everyone's family is messed up. Everyone's family, because people, human and humans are messed up. Crazy stuff. Like if you own up to the crazy, like recognizing it is huge. Okay, because like knowing that it's there is one thing. The other thing that's key is breaking the cycle, okay? Generational trauma, generational abuse. Like, if you're like, oh, it just runs in my family, and oh, yeah, so and so is just like that, it runs in the family. Like, you should be doing everything in your power to say, but that's where it stops. And maybe we're gonna mess up in our own new ways. <laughs> Hopefully, not, but I mean, hopefully they're in different ways that are because we're more aware we can self-correct and work on correcting them and not just accepting them as normal okay like generational alcoholism oh yeah everybody's just big drinkers in my family well okay is that something you want to continue not just for you but your future generations of family that are coming in. Like I've thought about this a lot with my own kids. Like, all right, I've seen some things in extended family that I have thought, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. And I hopefully can bring enough awareness to my kids about things so that they see it and know, oh, this could be a pattern that's been in the family, but we're breaking that cycle. No, I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but you guys, honestly, like I am trying to do better. So in order to work on doing better and being better, you're like not condescendingly gonna feel better, but you're gonna be a better person. Like that's the goal, right? I want to do better. Like I've seen the growth that has happened from the like previous generations in my family. And I want to just take it to even like bigger heights than anyone saw coming. That's the goal. I am thankful for whatever my ancestors endured and whatever the family before me, what they have gone through to where I am now at this point in my line of the generations, 
to where like maybe it's been this gradual incline from the previous generations. Uh, more like this, maybe like this. So, like, you, those of you guys just listening can't see my arm. <laughs> I was pointing like a like a mountain peak angle, okay? But instead of that big of an angle, it's probably more like a like the foothills kind of slow, gradual rolling hill. And my goal is to take that gradual rolling hill climb to the top peak of the freaking mountain in a shorter time gap than accomplished before. Does that make sense? Like taking what the generations before me have done in what the capacity they were able to do it and then just freaking springboard it to this crazy new height so that the generations that are my children and whoever may come after them already are starting up here at a higher peak and hopefully they've learned from me to be able to just continue, continue growing. Because we all have fucked up shit in our family. Everybody does. I talk about some of it in my book, uh, Flowers, Faith, Finding Your Way, and Other F-Words, which is available in hardcover and paperback on, uh, on Amazon. I talk more in detail about scenarios in there, things that I've learned from and grown from. And you can bless and release. Like, you can love your family. You can love who you grow, grew up with and still have growth to be able to go and do what you need to do so that your future generations can prosper. There is nothing wrong with that. Like sometimes we have to do that in order to move up. And it's not that you, you're not wishing anyone poor or you're not wishing anyone any ill, but to move out of that and up, you gotta go. And if anyone, that's still behind you wants to come along too. It is up to them, but they more like are more than welcome to come along too. Like let's all break generational curses and keep growing and learning to be better and do better and provide the next generations with God, just more love and more learning and more growth and better cycles. Okay. I think a lot about what previous generations went through. Like, I think on my dad's side and mom, dad, relatives, if anyone's listening to this and you want to correct me, please correct me. But my dad was born here. His parents were born here. Maybe both of their parents came over. My dad's full German. Okay. So like my family has not always been here. And I can't even imagine what they all endured. Like I, my dad grew up on a farm, not a lot of money, eight kids. His parents also grew up on the farm. One of them was one of eight kids. The other one was one of 16 kids. Like they didn't have money. They lived probably some hard life, um, but they were hard workers and they provided for their families. And I'm one of four. My dad provided for us and then my mom started working more as we got older and like they were able to do more from than what they came from and that's my goal too and it should be all of ours right let's break some fucking generational curses and know that it's okay that if somewhere in your family history there's messed up stuff because we all have it and it's all there for everyone. But the point is to learn from it and grow from it and break those fucking cycles. Break those cycles so that your future generations don't have to deal with them or they recognize them to be able to move out of them and grow from them much, much faster. All right, generational curses out. Let's break them all, you guys. If you're listening wherever you're at, YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, you can find me over at my on my website, www.balancedaylife.com. Don't worry if there's effed up people in your family. Just grow from it, move from it, learn from it, and move on. <laughs>